This is a story about control. My control. Control of what I say, control of what I do. And this time I'm gonna do it my way. You disgust me. Me? I disgust you? You. You. You're too fine. You won't have none of me, but you'll sit here all night looking at your naked female. Mildred. You cared. You dirty swine. I never cared for you not once. I was always making a fool of you. You bored me stiff. I hated you. It made me sick when I had to let you kiss me. I only did it because you begged me. You hounded me. You drove me crazy. And after you kissed me, I always used to wipe my mouth. Wipe my mouth. I want you to marry me. <laughs> what a dump. I know you're not interested in my work, but I just saved a woman's life. Saved her for what? There's only one person in this town that does anybody a real favor. That's the undertaker. Can't you get into your thick skull that I'm broke? going to bed. That's big news. Where else could you go? I don't care one damn about anything anymore. But you, you care. You can't hurt me anymore. Now the police know you or anyone else on earth. Now get out. Get out. I tell I'll get out. You try to make me get out. Get out. Oh, you do what I... Get him off! I see. Now about you and me. Sorry, I never ride on tugboats, even if you are the captain. No, I'm quite all right. My liver. What are you doing here? Getting up a parade. You're just in time. Who are you? Deputy Sheriff. Oh. Well, then you're not in time. We had an elephant in our carnival with a memory like that. He went after a keeper that he'd held a grudge against for almost 15 years. Had to be shot. You just wouldn't believe how much trouble it is to dispose of a dead elephant. Sorry, I don't think I know you. I believe it's my husband you know. Arthur, nobody knows better than I do that you're married. But one night a week is all we have. Can't the sob stuff, Mrs. Haynes. You noble wives and mothers bore the brains out of me. I bet you bore your husband, too. You are a hard one. So I can be soft on the right occasions. May I suggest if you're dressing to please Stephen? Not that one. He doesn't like such obvious effects. Thanks for the tip. But when anything I wear doesn't please Stephen, I take it off. Now you and your rabbit face wife can both go to hell. My Carol, you look sweet. Even in those tacky old riding clothes. Now I can stay home and enjoy your company. Aren't I wicked? Yes, as a matter of fact, you are. There's nothing to discuss. I think we should talk. I don't like to insist. I'll make you sorry for this. Will you? You know I will. Oh, they're so smug. <laughs> and Nambi Pambi. I wish I could get rid of them as easy as this trash. Darling, a party is to women what a battlefield is to men. Oh, I forgot. You weren't in the army, were you? Something about drinking, wasn't it? Oh, I'm so happy for them. I don't know what that... He actually trembles when I talk to him. You'd think he'd never seen a beautiful woman before. I'm talking about men. I know men and I know Judd. You know your men. Any man's my man if I want it that way. Not Judd. 
judged like other men. No better, no worse. Are you trying to tell me Judd's been carrying on some cheap affair I don't know about? Is that it? If it's true, tell me who it is. Who do you think? Oh, not tonight if this boy's in trouble. Maybe alone. It's blinding. I can't think of anything else. You miserable... I was just wondering who all those people were at the back door. That nosy Mrs. Bates going on about your picture last night. Oh, really? Did she like it? Oh, really? Did she like it? I hope you die. I hope you die soon. Mama, don't! I'll be waiting for you to die. Don't! Don't! Mama, don't listen! Please! Eat your lunch and get cold. What are you doing? I was... I was watching. Then you're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs>